yeah, basically all you have to do is get the coral region to level 7, so it must be a tempered Namiel. Then you have to farm Namiel to get the tempered fine hide, I think it's called? I'm not sure. I think it's called that. And you have to get the... When the bone piles turn, when you farm the bone piles in the coral region for a while, it'll eventually get to be like a jackpot coral pile or bone pile. It'll be like really big. Once you gather from that, you'll get the the bone materials you need to augment rarity 12 weapons. So I will lure out a monster to the coral area because I need to get coral levels. I think this would be good because it can only be spawned in the coral area. Monsters that can only be spawned in one area give more points towards that area. When you kill, kill them or capture them, you get more points for capturing than killing. killing. Slaying, not killing. So I will be capturing everything and I need to eat. And I can pay with the gourmet voucher because I have like 159 because of the Steamworks. My fish stared at me while I was working out earlier. He like kept swimming to the edge of the tank and he would stare at me through the glass and it was kind of creepy. He was sleeping and he woke up and came over just to stare at me. I would rather use dual blades if I'm doing this myself. Because I can kill it faster. It's appeared in the field. I also have somebody waiting to join. It's good to use the assassin's mantle in the guiding lanes because it lets you run faster. And I think that the the raider rider is so the raider rider is so whack that it's kind of better to just run everywhere with the mantle if it's not really far. And when you crouch with the mantle, once you start if you run out of a crouch, it gives you a speed boost, so you can use that to get around even faster. Here it is. You want to collect all the tracks to to level up an area. Can't even see what's going on. Don't make fun of my raw dual blades because I didn't get to fight Cole before the event changed. So I'm using these. So I'm pretty sure these actually do more damage than the Sabi ones. Don't even care if I get hit. I just keep hitting. Worth getting hit to do more damage as long as you don't die. Oh, that was pretty cool, actually. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, ah, I was trying to dodge that. I messed it up. I missed the dodge again. Now, this thing's probably getting close to dead already. I don't know when it's going to be close enough to capture, but we can free trank, well, trank bomb it. It's got to be getting close to capturing range already. It's already limping. You can kill these things so fast and you will level up your region extremely quickly. It's probably capturable at this point. There we go. 
That guy, Psycho, really wanted to go Psycho on it, not gonna lie. He wanted to just kill that bitch. Getting some uh, levels for the coral area. Hopefully, gonna level it up pretty quickly. I mean, we already killed a hunted one Tsitsiyaku. Captured it. And now we just have to turn in and summon another one. Get all this. This all the stuff we got from sl capturing one Tsitsiyaku. Coral region. Get that much XP. So then basically just keep. It takes a while. I think it takes too long, honestly, to lure out the monster or to level up the area. But once tempered stuff starts spawning, it goes a lot faster. So it's not that bad. Now I think we could actually fight a. Oh, we can't. We can fight Namiel already. I think we'll do a Namiel. Actually, we'll do a coral. Pookie Pookie, and then we'll do a Namiel. So, the harder the monster is, the more points it gives when you defeat it in the area. Oh, it's a little hummingbird. It's so pretty. Gonna let the people in my lobby know. What the hell are they fighting? Oh, he's doing the Glavinus. Okay. <laughs> That's weird. I'm going to get a different item set out. I want to use the sword and shield. I got to get my traps and stuff back. And now we're ready to fight the next monster. Coral Pookie Pookie. Gonna put on my mantle. That guy's just fighting the Glavinus. Fine by me. Jenny Tulls. What an interesting name. Definitely not uh, anything, any special meaning to that. I should be picking up all of these too, but I keep forgetting. We got the mount already. We're gonna knock it down here. Get a lot of good damage off. Do some perfect rushes. Ah, oh, come on, it's really bad. Wow. Ah, that scared me. Parts again. <laughs> and we got another mount, that's good. I want to finish the mount on the head so we can get the damage. Here we go, going down. Alright, well, we weren't doing that super fast, but we do only have two of the four people in this session here. And if you didn't know, you can roll, and right after you roll, press LT right now, and you can do a clutch claw uppercut. And then you will be able to instantly wound parts, you won't have to do it twice like you would normally. Normally when you use the normal clutch claw attack with the sword and shield, you have to do it twice to get a wound. But if you do it with the cancel from a roll, it instantly wounds it. So you should use that whenever you are wounding. Hello there.
Oh shit. Good stuff, good stuff. Good damage. And you'll just chase it down and kill it. Capture it actually. So you wanna capture, you get a lot more uh you get a lot more points and levels, so you wanna capture. I feel to get another mount off pretty soon. See how it instantly wounds as soon as you grapple on. So even if you don't complete the attack, you still get the you still get the wound. So it's it's really good. Got the tail. If you have your weapon out and you aim your slinger, press down the right stick. You can do a slinger burst, and then if you press Y after the sl slinger burst, you can do the perfect rush combo right after. Ow, I'm getting beat up. <laughs> I landed right on it. Oh no, no, I'm <laughs> getting beat up. Good job. Good stuff. We will carve the tail because we cut it off. Hide it. Give me the Good shit. Alright, now we will turn in this one. Get all these. You get a lot of dragon vein coal and stuff for the steamworks too from this. We are slowly but surely raising our levels. Coral region is almost leveled up. So we will do a Namiel now. Namiel should give a lot. That should give a lot of uh, points. They're fighting out a, they're fighting a Glavinous. I will pay to get my stamina back. I hope Namiel gives a lot of points, because Namiel is significantly harder than everything else we've been fighting. Don't mind me. Don't you dare mind me. Don't roar. Weaken up all these areas for my team. Go for the tail. Take damage. Woo! That's the Rocksteady Mantle. That's how it works. Oh, here we go. Big damage. Oh. oh. Everybody's picking up like madmen. Mad woman. Actually, yeah, we're all women. Like mad women. <laughs> we are mad women. My mouth still hurts from when I bit that tortilla chip earlier. What the heck? Oh, Jenny Tools, you got that. Did I cut its tail? Oh, I did. I think. It's a tail cut, right? Come here. Ah, such a cool monster. No. Here we go. Get in that wall. Ah, I didn't hit the 
tail. That's big damage. Woo! about that man. <laughs> that is a that is a big one. Man, I really need my augmentations. Where'd the tail go? It's over here. I see it. It's on the mini map. Right It's right here. It fell in the water so you can't see it. out here we go it's uh wings sound like rubber when it's flying it's kind of weird no crit again I wonder why I'm not critting Strat. Oh, yes. Perfect. Oh, it's dead. <laughs> there we go. Let's see how many. Coral region. It's level 2. Almost level 3. Didn't level up. But it got close. You can see how long it takes to level up the regions. See, I think that I'm pretty sure that the more level 7 areas you have, the harder it is to level up another area. So it's going to be really hard to level up this coral area with these two level 7 already. Jenny Toll's left. Oh, it's so sad. Is there any way that I can... That's a pretty cool way to make a picture, isn't it? Well, that's that. That's how you level up the level of any region in the Guiding Lands, and that's how you get the Rarity 12 equipment. You need the Tempered Fine Hides from a Tempered Namiel that you can only get from level 7 Coral Area, and you need the Guiding Coral Reef Bones that you only get from the max level Coral Area Bone Piles. And in order to get the max level Coral Area Bone Piles, you need to harvest Bone Piles in the Coral Area until the bar fills up to red in the select menu in your journal. You can see it. It will eventually start filling up. It'll turn red and it'll say large bone piles have appeared. You go gather it. It's like a really big bone pile that's in the coral area and you will get the guiding reef bone. So I hope that helps.